Hello Retroburn here and this is uh, my first of my Let's Play Folktale series. So this game is a city builder role playing game and I'm quite curious about it because in my mind I can't reconcile the two aspects RPG and city builder. So I bought this one. This is an early access and we are currently now in patch 0.2 uh, 2.8, 0.2.8, 0 0.2.8. So it's quite early. There are a lot of bugs, and straight off, um, I was kind of confused the first time I opened this. Um, these editor customized sandbox survey, I was kind of confused because I couldn't find the graphics options. So the thing is, you have to click on tutorial to view that. It's kind of odd why the developers didn't um, place the options menu in the front page. So um, I think, yeah, the settings don't stick. So you have to manually reset them all to your preference whenever you start the game. So we have to adjust this. Bear with me because I am such a tweak monkey. So I'm going to do a um, quick 20 minute video after the intro, after we start. So we're going to start here. I think when this game is completed, sandbox, uh, sandbox is going to be Four very months, people have struggled through swamps and forests, across deserts and frozen wastes, battling storms and high seas that threatened to dash them against the rocks. They came to escape from the tyranny of the evil Lord Black Dog, whose rogue financiers had crushed the population to little more than indentured slaves. Fleeing a land where toast is rationed to only the select few and uh, the good people eat only stale bread, your brave subjects have fought and suffered before arriving on the shores of this remote island. It is here they hope to find peace and tranquility, where they can farm and build a new... Oh look, there's Bernard. Hello. Where was I? Oh yes, to a land where your people can build a new society, where freedom and toast are available to everyone. And it is up to you, our steely-eyed leader, to build a brighter future for your brave pioneers. Because let's face it, the villagers aren't the sharpest swords in the rack. <laughs> this is the world <laughs> of folktale. <laughs> Okay, phone call. I have to pause the video. Pausing in 3, 2, 1. Okay, back. So, resuming. Welcome to our new village. Let's practice moving around. Moving the mouse to the edge of the screen. Okay, it's the obligatory um, how to you can use fan your view. A, S, and okay, let's do that. All the arrow keys S, D, W. Holding down the right mouse button and dragging the mouse left or right, up and down. Finally, you can adjust the camera height by scrolling the mouse scroll wheel, or using the Z the water is keyboard. awesome. It's impressive. To test your navigation skills, I've highlighted a location on the map. Go there now to continue our lesson. We should set to work building a windmill and planting wheat fields that can be harvested and that was mighty convenient. Click on the notice board near the empty plot of land and select the windmill from the construction options. Okay, so the tutorial um, in the tutorial you can place your buildings anywhere you want to. Uh, they have pre-assigned slots, so I've read in the forums or on the website. I forgot, but um, anyway, yeah, let's do that. Windmill. So there you go. Heard, our villagers will set to work hammering and sawing. In the meantime, why not place one or more wheat fields next to the windmill? The closer resources are to buildings, the less time villagers will spend transporting goods and the more productive they can be. 
Okay, nice, great. So this is it, right? New building options are available. Or this one. Okay, so I I do have choices, but how do I get out of here? There you go. Build a wheat field, so let's build it here. There you go. Everyone in the village is bald. What about the women? <laughs> New building options are available. Our windmill is ready. Train a farmer by selecting a free villager and right clicking on the windmill. Okay, so I'm controlling a legion of Jamie Madroxes. They all look the same. I am such a racist. <laughs> okay, and. Yep. On my way. That was easy. Great. You okay, fantastic. Just trained your first specialist. The farmer will tend to the fields, planting seeds and harvesting wheat before delivering it to the windmill to be milled into flour. So this your game has then be able to buy flour from the storehouse to make bread. A dynamic more income day and night cycle. Cool. We should build a woodcutter's lodge close to the woods and train one of our folk to be a woodcutter. Close to the woods. Okay, so let's click on this one and there you go. Um, the music has a Runes of Magic vibe to it, which I kind of like. And the graphics are not unlike um, War World of Warcrafts. That's nice too. And the villagers should come running here. There they are. <coughs> Excuse me. They build fast. It's kind of nice. One of the advantages you get if you play um, a not free game, a free game you have to pay for. Those free to play Facebook games are quite annoying that you have to pony up cash just so your minions or your villagers or whatnot can options are available. finish whatever oh, they're constructing. One of our folks and send them to the woodcutter's lodge for training. Okay, let's pick yes, the female did. one. And oh, okay, you can Help pick her. Help. Something to do. What now? <laughs> Ta-ta! It's very sexist of the Woodcutters Guild. They won't accept females. Huh? No, but this one... Yes, yep, you, you can. You can train females to be Woodcutters. Capture a logging camp. Okay, so what am I going to do with here? Okay, so I'm going to select. Okay, so shift does the same thing in other RTS games. You hold down shift and you click um, another unit and it adds that unit to your party. Boy, you best not be messing with me. There you go, there's two of them. I've got the city. Okay. I do a nice extension. So this is a resource secure Dunvoir thing. Our woodcutter will chop down trees and saw logs into planks that can be used to construct other buildings. We'll also need more iron bars and stone. Build an iron smelt near the iron mine and train a miner. So let's click this one and there you go. And just like before, the villagers will come running here and hopefully won't run into bugs. Okay, everything is going smooth, no problem. This is the version 
0 0.2.8.0 by the way so that's not expect everything to be as polished as we want it to be but everything's fine and dandy so far beautiful graphics a beautiful system except for the um, pre-designated locations but that's, that's going to vanish once you play this sandbox mode because I've read that in sandbox mode you can place your buildings wherever you want to build them this is taking quite a while compared to the other structures maybe so more event advanced structures New building so options are available take more time to build Okay, so let's train a miner. All right, my love. I am such an insistent bastard, so you really can't train females. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, go there and make me a right sandwich. <laughs> what now? My pleasure. Excellent. Before our miner can get to work, we need to clear out the rat infestation near the mine and hoist our faction flag to state our claim. Whoa. Select one or more villagers and right click on one of the rats near the iron mine. To save this land. Yes, Petal. Wait, what? Hmm? Heading there now. Oh, well done. Now move some of our villagers close to the faction flag until it changes to our blue colors. When the flag is at the top of the pole, we gain control of the resource and our miner can start extracting ore. Okay, so nice. There's a loot system. And there's also a Dunavoir Company of Heroes thing where you, you take and hold several points so that it can be yours for the taking. Superb! Now build a stonecutter's lodge near the stone quarry and train one of our villagers to be a stonecutter. Okay. And I've somehow freezed the camera here. I have no idea what I just did. Stonecutter's Lodge. So I don't know what these buttons are for. Oh, they're gone now. What? Vanished. Okay, cool. So I still don't know how to rotate the camera. Uh, the tutorial hasn't mentioned that, or else I've missed it entirely. Pressing Alt and Control does nothing. So what about this one? Okay, there you go. But um, you can't... You can't rotate it around. Right. Oh well. That's one mystery we can solve later. And I've managed to freeze the. There you go. Okay, there are some rough spots. Um, it's not intuitive in how to. I'm scratching my head right now. I can't rotate the camera. Um, would have been very convenient if I could just like in Dawn of War I could hold down Alt and then you know move my cursor around and the camera would rotate with me but it doesn't do that okay so let's train a stone cutter on my way what's up slick oh that's a wood cutter so we can't use that one yep. How about this okay Ta -ta. Then capture a stone quarry. Something this might be convenient. Done. Absolutely. What are these buttons for? Oh, let's not mess with that. I mean, those. Let's wait for the tutorial to teach us what these are for, rather than you know going to a step in advance and messing everything up. <laughs> I hate doing gargoyles. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Car girls. Okay, by the time this flag is raised up. And there you go. 
And what now? Close, so we're done with the first phase of the tutorial. Goblins? Works? How is that here, Brav? What did the big man say? Big man? <laughs> He says he's been talking to them weirfu monks who is like all the way up on the mountain, innit? In it though, they is proper in the clouds. And they see all these like filthy human beings getting comfy on our turf. All building villages and thing, you get me, bruv? I hear you, man. So the big man reckons they is all our property and he'll get some wicked coin for them, innit? What's the plan? We go down there and they're all like, Oh no, please don't make us into slaves. And we like, take them back up to the big man. They got any protection, bruv? Nah, man, that's the best thing. They got nothing. Let's do this. I hear you, man. Let's do it. <coughs> Listen up. You is all the property of the slave master Urzal. We is taking some of you to be his slaves. The rest of you better shut it, or we will take all of you. This is our village now. You get me, yeah? <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we ain't alone on this island no more. So what are we gonna do, lads? I like well, the art style. We can't just leave them to the goblins, can we, dear boy? We should go and rescue them. But we're no soldiers, and we ain't got no swords or nothing. If we don't go and get them back, them goblins will be thinking we's all just here like turkeys waiting for Thanksgiving. We need volunteers. Good, brave lads who can go on a rescue mission. What about okay, you, cool. Bernard? After all, they did take your We're wife. going to have ourselves uh, well, uh, a militia. Uh, well, I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, I can't go. I've got um, important buildings to make. Shoot, I can't go. <laughs> uh, I've got important um, <laughs> logs to chop. And I've got um, important uh, holes to dig. <laughs> I'm starting hey, to like the humor of the scene. they also take Jethro the farmer? What? They took Jethro. You know, the farmer. But that means. What? No that food. That means that we can't grow wheat. So? If we can't grow wheat, then we can't make bread. So? If we can't make bread, then... What is it, man? That means we can't have toast. <laughs> That's it, boys. We're going to get Jeffro. Aren't you <laughs> getting someone? Okay, let's get the wife, too. Let's get tooled up. So it's all about the tools. caught fire. We need some improvised weapons. And just as I guessed, we're going to have ourselves a well armed militia. Get him equipped as militia. And where is the signpost? There you go. Stone cutters, iron smoke, barracks. The problem is do we have ah oh, okay. We have spare villagers. Man, I would like—I would love to see the female man at arms. This is so cool. So, in sandbox mode, or I think in this tutorial, we'll be able to build uh, defenses like uh, catapults and ballista. I think. What hmm. now? Yes, my dear. So two peasants. So you really can train women. Really? Before sending out a party of adventurers to rescue the villagers, we should give our militia some combat training. Cool. There are some mischievous-looking critters close to the village. Clear them out, and let's see if there's anything interesting to be found. Something to do? Nothing you know, like you know, I forgot to loot nice those goblin corpses. Yes, Petal. A woman's work is never done. Yes? You called? And where are the critters the narrator has? Oh, there you go. Mine is to obey. Yep. Okay. We can't have too many soldiers now. So let's train three more. Your orders? And double time. Can you set a rally point? Ready for duty, sir. Quick, 
Ready for duty, sir. At your command. So unlike um, traditional RTS games, double clicking on a single unit doesn't select all of them. Ready. Your command. So you have to Move drag up. or Nothing just hold down here. shift and Ready. select more. Ready to obey. Okay, going to where the map is. There you go. Hubbles. Away I go. So what are these? They've got abilities. Cool. Move out. Onward to victory and meet. New villagers have arrived. May you die. I think with all this walking, I'd be in better shape. Nice. Best lay off the now you've got the basics of combat. We should explore beyond the village borders and see if we can pick up the trail left by the goblins. Ready to serve. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, loot all. Ready for what is this for? We're going to need more manpower to keep growing at this rate. Constructing two more cottages will encourage new settlers to arrive on the boats. Okay, building more cottages. Eh, uh, what? My only problem is navigating the map. Uh, like, you know, where are those five dudes I've trained? So I've kind of lost them. All right, my love. Yes, my dear. Attention. There you go. So um, I can't double click on them and the camera won't go there. In fact, it's frozen. <laughs> what? I am terrible at this. Okay, there you go. Standing ready. Um. Standing firm. There's a number one here, but pressing one makes it. Makes the menu go away. That's strange. So at the moment, there's no way to wait. Um, how about Control One? Nope. Doesn't do anything. Ready to serve. So, do these guys have an inventory system? Um, I can't understand what these buttons are for. Uh, okay, there you are. So, I'm guessing that if they... Uh, okay. But the trick is to recognize which one, one of the tiny blue circles are on the minimap to uh, you know identify them it would be cool if you could just assign numbers because this is starting to uh, feel more and more like a traditional rts with of course uh, the city building aspects thrown in so Oh, we've hit the 20 minute mark, so I'm going to end this. I'm going to make more Let's Play the uh, Folk Tale. I was about to say The Forest. I'm doing that Let's Play too. Um, within the next two days. And in the next vid, we'll explore the wilds and build more cottages. Okay, so um, this has been Retroburn, and you've just seen the first of my Let's Play Folk Tale gameplay video series. If you like this video guys, if you like um, this game, please like and subscribe, it would go a long way to 
supporting this um, playthrough series. Stay cool, stay frosty.